See, uh, the leaven of malice and wickedness? Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Yes. <laughs> Now, I wrote unto you in epistle not to company with fornicators. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yet not altogether with the fornicators of this world, Ouch. or with the covetous, or extortioners, or, or the uh, with idol idolaters. Yes. <laughs> For then must ye needs go out of the world. <laughs> but now I have written unto you not to keep company. Yes. If any man that is called a brother be a fornicator, mm. a covetous, or an idolater, or a railer, or a drunkard, or an extortioner, <laughs> with such an one, uh, no, not to eat. Yes. Now, here's the problem. Yes. <laughs> For some reason, my wife decided to abduct my sons. Yes. Mm -hmm. And she was probably promised a large amount of money, Oprah. Poop! And uh, in doing that, she gave herself over to the idea that... Um, she was going to use her physical body as a communication system. <laughs> I, well, I'm still married, but I was married to a woman that's very large-breasted. Yes. Mm -hmm. That we had uh, five sons with. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, when she abducted them, uh, she moved to Clallam County and you issued a protection order. Yes. I wasn't given any due process. Oh. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm thinking that my wife, Heidi, decided to use her physical body. Yes. To embondage any woman where you could suck both your nipples at the same time. Boop! Now, as the husband of the wife, yes, I want to undo what effect she had over the last eight years. Yes. Because nobody asked me, ooh, can you use my sons as a communication system? No. They didn't ask me. <laughs> In fact, I think that Heidi would have said that there's no way that Paul will go with what we're doing. Yes. Now, as a husband, yes, when I found out what was going on, yes, I said, you're not using my son's poop. I do not want my kids involved in any of what you've been doing. Now, that would involve Benjamin, yes, Maximilian, oh, Deacon, mm -hmm, Bishop, yes, and Zachary, poop. Now, while I was living at 1023 Kitchen Dick Road, yes, mm -hmm, it looked to me that in the same year that I was living there, yes, that Mike installed all these electric boxes, yes, so they could be on a different electric <laughs> power structure, yes, so that he could sell the property without actually selling it. <laughs> now, just looking at it, okay, <laughs> I thought I was living on church property, poo. <laughs> but my wife was living in the blue house when she first moved here. Yes, she was. Mm -hmm. And she volunteered to clean the church. Yes, mm -hmm. while Mike was the pastor of the church. That's right. <laughs> now, I remember Mike telling me, well, by the way, poo. <laughs> and I thought about it, and I said, there's no possible way that you can buy Christianity. No. <laughs> now, it could be, yes, that Marilyn's husband, Mike, yes, was involved in what we did not see. Ouch. That would be the wickedness and malice. <coughs> now, as two spouses, I thought that we would live in sincerity and truth. Yes. Or I would be honest with Marilyn. <coughs> and I'd ask her, would you volunteer your sexual nerve endings to reverse what our spouses had done? <coughs> now, it could be... <coughs> While speaking to Marilyn, we could talk about what Mike and Heidi did. Yes, he did. Because I thought that Heidi was joyriding all the big titty women in this county right now. And then Mike. Oh, holy. 